All right, today we're going to take a quick look at how to transform a boring data set like this into something that looks professional. And so I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of different things that you can do in Google Sheets here. Um, so buckle up and let's get right on it. So first off, I like to format the headers um, and address the column width. So first thing address the column width, if you click on the upper left of the A and 1 in this blank, it will select the entire data set. And then between each column, if you get to where you can see the double arrow, just double click with the left mouse button. Now automatically resize the width of each column um, to fit the max of what you got in there. So usually what I'll do is I'll adjust a little bit from there. Uh, might make this date a little wider, um, give a little buffer to some of these. And so let's next format the header. And so if you just click on this one, it'll select the entire top row. Um, and then one of the things, uh, this is one of the colors I like. I like doing a dark, um, so you can do this or a little darker if you like, and then white. And then I like doing a white um, white border in between. Um, and we could do something like this maybe. Uh, maybe a little bigger. So you can do something like this. Uh, with this, you can switch between different colors really easily um, for a different look. Um, or you can do um, you can do different colors for different sections as well. Um, so maybe client would be this um, and so forth. Um, so that gives you a lot of flexibility there. Um, one thing we'll often want is if we see if I scroll down here, um, we lose our header. So let's go ahead and freeze the top row. And so you can do this two places. You can do this on freeze. Um, or you can just select right here. You can see there's kind of a slightly gray bar here just to the left of A and just um, above one. And you see it could turns into a hand um, when I hover over it. So to freeze this top row, I'm just gonna get to the handlebar um, and then just click and drag this down. And you can see now if I scroll down, um, I have this top row frozen. So I can do the same thing um, with columns. I can just grab this one, move it over maybe um, to where I can see salesman. And now when I scroll over, um, you can see now B and C aren't showing, um, but I still have A showing up there. All right, so let's go ahead and unfreeze just that um, column for now. All right, so let's go ahead and run through. Um, let's go column by column. Uh, one thing it's good to do is look through here, see what you have, what data you have, what you want to do with it. Um, so usually with dates, I like to format it a little prettier than this. Um, so you got a couple different options. You got kind of standard here, um, or you can go custom date and time. And there's a bunch of different options from Google on some standard things you can do with date time. These ones are simply date objects. Um, they don't have a time associated. Um, so I like picking something simple like this, um, month, day, year. And then I'll usually center that. So if you go up here to the quick uh, menu bar, and you can just select this horizontal line, and you also have vertical align, text wrapping, stuff like that. So we'll get into that here in a moment. So now you can see I can actually get a little narrow with this if I, if I want to. Um, client name, I'll leave that alone. We'll leave these alone, maybe zip a little bit wider. Uh, maybe same state. Um, one thing I like to do with these, um, and you can kind of determine what you need to do in your data set. I like to center these. Um, all right, so sales amount, let's just do that as a currency. And then these are all round numbers, looks like. Um, and so that can be a matter of preference. Some people like to see the zeros regardless. Um, I like to round if it's not, um, if there's no if there's no uh, data in the decimal points. And so you can uh, quickly and easily, you can add more decimal points, decrease decimal points right here on the menu bar. So we can just go like that, makes it nice and clean. So we got this percentage, right now it's just 0 0.1. So let's go ahead and just do percent. And again, if these are all round percentages, let's go ahead and just make that. Um, I usually like to center percentages. There's a commission amount, let's just do dollar amount. You can see that is, um, does have a decimal with it. So let's go ahead and just leave it. All right, now let's just check out the rest. Looks like that's pretty much it. Looks like this notes was really narrow. So one thing, if you're all the way on the right side, it can be a little challenging um, to resize, because normally you can resize if you select a column and you can just um, you can just drag this around. Um, but if it's all the way on the right, it 
it's a little hard, you know, you can try to go over here. Um, then you can maybe do it. Um, if you're just in here, um, you go over here, sometimes you can just do this instead. Um, you can do resize column, and you just type something in. Um, so maybe we just make this 200, um, just like that. Uh, maybe make this lead source a little bit wider. Maybe the status as well. You could center the status. And just like that. All right. So what else can we do here? So another thing we can do is we can play around with um, these background or these borders, and also the backgrounds. So let's go up to the top, um, top left here. And so let's go ahead and add some um, alternating colors. And so usually the quickest way to do that, if you click up here, if you hold down um, Control and then click on the top row, that will deselect it. Um, it also works if you're trying to deselect um, a cell here as well. Um, so you can deselect different things um, like that if you want to deselect columns. Um, but if we just go ahead and do this, let's just do, deselect that top row and let's go ahead and add alternating colors. So we have alternating colors right here. So we can just go to here. Um, usually I'll do the header manually. And so um, you can use this to do the whole thing um, with the header. Um, but usually I like to do it manually because I like to do different. They do pretty boring. They do the same color. And I like to, I like to do gray. Um, usually on this just because it's a nice subdued background and so we can just go like that um, and then have that sim simple subtle and then next let's play with this borders so what I'm gonna do first is just show you that um, currently this is actually just grid lines there's no borders so if I go here to view show grid lines um, you'll see that there are no borders and so I like to do when I do this alternating um, colors, alternating rows, is just add a simple um, somewhere in here maybe, and then make sure it's just a single width. Um, you can make wide borders, um, but just a single one, and then just do the vertical, just like that, and it makes for a clean look. Um, so you can see what happens if we go ahead and add it the other way. So I just did vertical borders, if I do horizontal, um, you can see it just makes it a little more cluttered. Um, so you can clear borders right here. And so if you want to do all borders, you can just select this, um, go back to no borders. We can do inside, and it's hard to tell um, since we got it in the, taking up the whole thing, but this would not include the outside borders. Um, and you can do just the horizontal like this, um, just the vertical like we did at the beginning. And then you can do just the left border, just top, just right, just bottom. So we're just going to stick with just the vert vertical borders for now, and just like that. So already looking pretty nice and we've already addressed a bunch of things we've done centering um, horizontally so let's look at let's make these um, rows a little taller so let's say we'll make this a little taller um, now I'll select the rest of the data set so I just did clicked here control and left click on the top row and then right click down here and I can do resize and maybe I want to add a little bit more room to the rows. Makes it a little easier to read. And then one thing I can do here, so you can leave them on the bottom if you like, or on the vertical line, you can center align them. And so this can be, maybe we'll make this 35 or something like that. Um, you can kind of give a lot of space there, make this really easy to read. And then you can tell when we move this around, um, you can go for the different looks you like. And some sometimes we'll even like them top aligned. And then the last thing I want to show you real quick and then we'll be done with this video is just showing um, let's just show some wrapping so let's say you have too much text to fit in one um, and you don't want to make it wider one thing you can do if you want to show it all is under this text wrapping shortcut here you can go to wrap now one thing to note is you can see um, it's still not showing everything the reason why is because we have a fixed row height so if you look here we have a specified row height of 35 pixels. So if we want to show everything, we'll have to do fit to data. And so now you can see it just added a little more space to fit that ultra white cardstock in there. 
And so we can go, um, if we don't want it to make it super wide, um, we can do clip um, or this overflow. This overflow is not going to show anything if there's anything um, next to it. So those two may seem to be the same. Um, the difference you'll notice is if there's nothing to the right of a column and you select overflow, you'll be able to still see that data. Um, but if there's data in the cell next to it, then it's just going to remain like clip. Um, otherwise, you can do wrap again. Um, so we'll just leave it like that for now and go ahead and resize this. It's a little wider. And then let's go ahead and make these just a little bit taller. Uh, maybe not, nothing crazy, just like that. Keep that centered. Now we have a good looking data set just like that. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.